In the world teetering on the brink of information anarchy, the truth is no longer just out there. It's buried under a mountain of deception so vast, it threatens to alter the very fabric of international relations. At the heart of this brewing storm stands Taiwan, a beacon of democracy in the Asia-Pacific. Now caught in the crosshairs of a relentless disinformation campaign, led by a giant with ambitions that overshadow the rules-based order China. This isn't just another tale of geopolitical rivalry, it's a saga of engineered narratives, where the line between reality and fabrication blurs, leaving populations polarized and governments on edge. Amidst this chaos, accusations fly like arrows in a medieval siege. Taiwan's president, Tsai Ing-wen, accused of plotting an escape in the face of conflict, becomes the unwilling protagonist in a story that reads more like fiction than news. But behind this sensational claim lies a calculated effort by Beijing to undermine Taiwan's resolve, painting its leaders as traitors in their own land and sowing seeds of distrust among its citizens. This narrative, fueled by the engines of China's state media and amplified through a labyrinth of social media channels, is not just an attack on a leader, but a full-scale assault on the principles of sovereignty and democracy. But why does this matter to the world, and why should you, the reader, stay glued to this unfolding drama? Because in the shadow of these fabricated tales lies the stark reality of our times, the weaponization of information, as democracies grapple with the onslaught of fake news. The Taiwan saga offers a crystal clear view of how the battleground has shifted from the physical to the cognitive realm, where perceptions are manipulated and truths are tailored to suit the agendas of the powerful. As we delve deeper into this controversy, brace yourself for a journey through the twisted corridors of misinformation, where each turn could reveal uncomfortable truths about the world we live in. Stay with us till the end, for this is not just Taiwan's story. It's a window into the future of global politics, where the pen and the tweet might just prove mightier than the sword. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Taipei tensions have escalated as stories circulate about Taiwan's president Tsai Ing, Wen's alleged plans to flee the country in the event of war with China. These reports, originating from Chinese state media in 2021, have gained traction as Taiwan approaches its general election in January 2024. The Information Environment Research Center are a non-governmental organization in Taiwan conducted an analysis revealing that these claims about Tsai's escape plans and the portrayal of Taiwan's military drills as preparation for such an escape were disseminated by outlets controlled by the Chinese Communist Party in June 2021. Despite Taipei's denials of these allegations, the government has not publicly outlined its contingency plans for its leadership in case of conflict leaving room for speculation and disinformation to thrive. Reuters tasked IORG with examining the origins of these stories, particularly in light of the attention they received internationally and the irritation they sparked in China. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. Yorg, funded by academic and organizations supported by Britain and the United States, is a non-partisan group comprising social scientists and data analysts. Their investigation uncovered over 400 articles framing Taiwan's military exercises, including the annual Han Kuang drills, as rehearsals for the leadership's desertion. This narrative, Iorg suggests, is part of Beijing's broader strategy to undermine Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progressive Party WA China's Taiwan Affairs Office has dismissed EORG's findings as baseless, accusing the DP of engaging in cognitive warfare and spreading misinformation that purportedly harms the feelings of compatriots. EORG's analysis spanned text articles and videos published between April 2021 and January 2024, employing data processing technologies to trace the origins of specific narratives and keywords. Despite these Chinese influence efforts, the DP's Lei ching Ti won the presidency on January 13. Though the party lost its parliamentary majority, Lai's inauguration is scheduled for May 20. Beijing views Tsai and Lai as separatists due to their refusal to accept China's sovereignty claims over Taiwan. The campaign leading up to the election was marked by China's portrayal of support for DP candidates as a vote for war, 
emphasizing Lai's stance against altering the status quo of Taiwan's de facto independence. The narrative of DPP leadership as war instigators prepared to flee at the onset of conflict has become a focal point for criticism within Taiwan, utilized by media outlets and opposition politicians against the DP. Guo's analysis indicated that discussions and media coverage of these narratives spiked during politically sensitive moments, such as the visit of then U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to Taipei in 2022 and during annual military drills, Taiwan's Defense Ministry and presidential office have accused Beijing of engaging in disinformation campaigns to weaken confidence in the Taiwanese government. The main opposition party, the Kuomintang Kang, which leans towards closer ties with China, has distanced itself from being labeled as collaborators in Beijing's alleged cognitive warfare. New York identified the CCP-backed Fujian Daily Press Group as a primary source of these narratives, responsible for approximately 20 of the stories analyzed. The group's involvement highlights the extensive reach and coordination behind the disinformation efforts, encompassing over 1, 300 Chinese news outlets and numerous social media platforms. The case of Taiwan's alleged escape plans underscores the complexities of information warfare in the digital age, where narratives can be rapidly amplified and manipulated, influencing public perception and international relations. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe share the video and comment. The dissemination of narratives accusing Taiwan's leadership of planning to flee in case of a conflict with China raises significant concerns about the impact of misinformation on democratic societies and international diplomacy. The efforts to portray Tsai Ing-wen in the Democratic Progressive Party de P in such a manner come at a time when Taiwan faces increasing pressure from Beijing, which claims sovereignty over the island despite never having governed it. This situation underscores the broader strategy of cognitive warfare aimed at influencing public opinion and political outcomes through the spread of misinformation. The narratives about Tisei's supposed escape plans and the characterization of military drills as rehearsals for such an event were found to be part of a concerted effort by Beijing to cast doubt on the DPP's commitment to Taiwan's defense and sovereignty. The stories, often lacking in substantiation, were traced back to sources affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party CCC and were amplified across a network of state media, Hong Kong-based outlets, and social media platforms. The involvement of such a wide array of channels highlights the sophistication of misinformation campaigns designed to sway public sentiment and undermine political opponents. In response to these tactics, Taiwan's government and independent organizations like the Information Environment, Research Center Org, have taken steps to identify and expose the sources of disinformation. IORG's analysis, which covered a vast array of Chinese official news outlets and social media accounts, provides a glimpse into the complex web of narratives used to influence perceptions of Taiwan's political landscape. The response from Taiwan's defense ministry and the presidential office to these disinformation efforts reflects the challenges faced by democracies encountering narratives intended to weaken confidence in government institutions. The ministry's report to parliament highlighted the use of state media and local collaborators in spreading narratives detrimental to the government's credibility, though without naming specific collaborators. The spread of such narratives also plays into the dynamics of Taiwan's internal politics, with opposition parties like the Kuomintang Kian caught in the crossfire of accusations of being complicit in cognitive warfare, while the KMT seeks closer ties with China. Mutation, it has been forced to navigate the delicate balance of advocating for its political stance without being perceived as undermining Taiwan's sovereignty. As Taiwan prepares for the inauguration of its newly elected president, Lai ching -ti. The impact of these disinformation campaigns looms large. Lei's election victory, despite the DPA losing its parliamentary majority, suggests that while misinformation may sway public discourse, the fundamental values of democracy and sovereignty continue to guide Taiwan's political direction. The ongoing struggle against misinformation and cognitive warfare highlights the importance of vigilance and critical thinking in preserving the integrity of democratic institutions as countries around the world grapple with similar challenges. The case of Taiwan serves as a reminder of the need for resilience in the face of attempts to manipulate public opinion and interfere in domestic politics. This episode in Taiwan's political narrative 
underscores the evolving landscape of international relations, where information warfare becomes a tool as significant as traditional diplomacy in shaping the futures of nations. The ability of societies to discern truth from misinformation will increasingly determine their resilience against external pressures and their capacity to uphold the principles of democracy and sovereignty. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.